I'm Andy Lee. I am chair of Jones Walker's privacy and data security team. We are proud to present our firm's second cybersecurity survey as a service to our clients and other stakeholders in the critical infrastructure space. Our survey focuses on the midstream oil and gas sector. In the U.S. alone, we have over 2.5 million miles of pipeline transportation systems. And increasingly, these systems are controlled by sophisticated internet-connected devices. A key takeaway is that players in the midstream space must avoid overconfidence. Although a majority of our respondents believe that they are prepared for a cyber attack, one in 10 reported that they had suffered a successful breach. Ninety-seven percent of our respondents said they have an incident response plan, an IRP, that they practice annually. However, more than 50 percent of them also said that IRP is more than a year old. Since a lot can happen in the space of a year, it's important that companies right now take a look at their IRP and make sure that it's assessing their current needs and vulnerabilities. Surprisingly, 88% of our respondents do not exchange cybersecurity best practices with their peers. Companies can benefit from participating in industry collaborations with respect to cybersecurity. Midstream companies are worried about both external and internal threat actors. Organized crime groups are perceived to be the number one threat and employees of the midstream companies are second. Ransomware and social engineering are perceived to be the two biggest cybersecurity threats. These tactics are targeted at employees. However, an increase in internal testing and training could combat these attacks. The COVID-19 pandemic has presented a major vulnerability to midstream companies adopting a work remote model. 74% of our respondents reported negligent and deliberate employee behavior as a significant threat. Nearly 20% of all respondents listed mobile devices as their top cybersecurity vulnerability. Companies are thinking hard about how to protect their confidential and proprietary information, especially during this global pandemic. When asked if they had a dedicated information security officer, 61% of our respondents said no. With a surge of employees now working from home, companies need to be sure that they have someone on their team who is a dedicated and go-to technology leader who can assess the company's vulnerabilities.